Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are working on this quiz app, right? So one thing is left over in this one. That is nothing but let's say that. So if you inspect the element and if you go to the final one, let's go to the app and I will try to increase the red user uh, index to 14. So if you go to the 14 and here if I click on this one and if I go here, so we have got the score right finish finish screen has been designed now but here we haven't designed this uh, restart quiz so if i want to restart this quiz i need to refresh the page so instead of refreshing the page so if we create if we keep a button restart the quiz then it would be nice right so let's go to the finish screen so here i will have the finish screen in this one so when we get to the finish here i want to have a something like one do i will keep it so that we will be having one yeah and here i will create a button finish quiz finish see i am getting some more finish finish quiz no not finish quiz what is it restart restart quiz okay so this is the button i want to design and here i can have a style of margin top to 10 pixel I can keep 10 pixel now we have a class right so class name is equal to btn start iphone btn we will keep this one yes we got it and I want to text align I will keep it as an end fine so when I click on this restart quiz button so we need to restart the entire quiz so on click on click we need to call the dispatch so we don't have a dispatch here let's try to send the dispatch in app.js in the finish screen where it is located finish screen yeah here i need to dispatch and i will send the dispatch okay so dispatch is also sent so finish screen here i will try to send the dispatch dispatch is also sent on click I will call the dispatch but this time I will send the type of uh, restart so you'll have a new type that is restart so now let's take this restart in the app.js let's switch case here I will be having another case restart so I will return the state so this time here restart means we need to reinitialize initialize all the state right so the everything should be reinitialized so one thing what i can do is i can do the initial state here but we have already the questions is there right so we have the questions so we can keep the questions questions state dot questions state dot questions and the status also we need to keep it as and ready so this is this is the simple thing or otherwise you can take the state and you can uh, initialize everything to a uh, initial state also you can initialize anything uh, anything is okay so anything is okay for you so now let's try to restart the quiz so let's go on to the inspect element so here in the components what i will do is here in our app let's go to the red user and here this is the index i will go to the 14 directly uh, yeah this is our last one antarctica is the correct answer finish so now we have you have scored 0 out of 50 so let, if i click on this restart quiz so we went back to the original one so now here again i can select the questions here so that's it guys so we have did the dispatch thing also so now the last one which is uh, before winding up this one so the last one which i have which we have left out is we need to show the timer here okay so we need to show the timer so for this one what we can do is one thing what i can do is seconds remaining so i can have a seconds remaining of 10 let's say that i have a seconds remaining of 10 so let's take the seconds remaining and uh, here i will try to show this seconds remaining and where i need to show it here here in this one right so le let's create a new component that is timer okay timer.js so in this timer.js 
what I will do export default function timer so this is our timer I will try to wind up very quickly so this is our timer so this is our timer let's go to the app.js so where I need to show here in the next button I need to show <coughs> so I will show the timer here timer so we have the timer and let's try to close this div and I will have this div so we'll have a style here display flex so align items center and also the justify content also justify content we will be having space between okay so that's it so now we have these all things let's click on the start so we are able to show this g timer so let's go to the timer here and i will have this class name as timer okay we will have a simple one timer and we will go to the app.css and here i will design this timer so now here uh, what i will do here the timer we need to show it right so we can have the css in such a way that um, border one pixel solid so we have it like this one pixel solid hash zero 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 okay I don't know why it is showing this much big let's go to the app.js timer is this one so oh this display flex is not there yeah so now the display flex is there yeah yes and app.css yeah here and I will give a padding of top to bottom 5, 5 pixel and here I will give a 10 pixel okay and we can have a border radius border radius of 20 pixel okay so fine right it's looking somewhat nice so now in this one timer we need to show the timer so let's try to show this timer also for this timer what we need to do so we need to show somehow the timer so that means so we need to have how many seconds remaining so here we will be having the seconds remaining just i am taking the 10 seconds so just we'll try to send it to the timer here how many seconds remaining so we have the seconds remaining right so now in this timer where is this timer so here I will try to send the seconds and seconds remaining we are sending it and in the timer so we will be having this seconds sorry seconds and here instead of showing this one we need to show the seconds let's if I click on this one so here this is the place where we are showing the seconds now what we need to do is so instead of showing the seconds every second it needs to decrease that too instead of showing it like this if we show the timer so timer 5 seconds you are having 5.59 5 is to 58 like that if it is going on decreasing means then it looks somewhat nice right so in the next video we will try to de develop this timer thing and we will close this quiz session so what i will do is i will commit this entire code video i 94 right video i 94 and i will commit this entire code so timer uh, what i can see is restart quiz so this is our restart quiz so let's commit this entire code and publish this branch so that's it guys about this one so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you